Hi guys, Chris here back with another video using a bit of a different lens today if you're wondering why it looks so weird use my 40mm instead uh, it's a little bit of a darker lens though this is sort of the brightest I can get it today's video guys is going to be an unboxing video so today I'm going to do a video on my Freestyle Libre which came yesterday I believe or the day before I'm quite excited to open it up and get used in it so it's just going to be a bit like a unboxing video and sort of just uh, sort of a first impressions uh, so let's get into it guys let's get this done so straight away it's quite good packaging uh, looks okay um, right so basically I bought this guys because um, I just want to monitor, monitor my blood sugars more but I don't really want to have to like prick all the time and stuff like this whereas so basically the freestyle Libre what it does is it, it allows you to see your blood sugars in real time all the time without having to prick uh, so I bought this for my own money, I haven't got it on the NHS or anything like that, it's cost me about, this here cost me about £130 which is about $200 and then after that it's going to cost me about £160, uh, well about £100 or about $160 a month. So just opening that up now guys, so what do I have inside? So I have a invoice delivery note, um, so I've got that and in here I have three boxes so let's get these open so I've got my Freestyle Libre um, uh, glucose monitor right here and I have my first Freestyle sensor and I've got my second sensor as well so that's everything there's nothing else inside of the box so this is it here guys so this is the box I'm just going to open this up now um, just need some scissors just to undo that, open the box up like so and so straight away I just have a quick start guide uh, that will be quite useful uh, let's see what's inside, oh so it folds up so let's get this open so has here guide, uh, guys just a guide so it just talks about the monitor, how to use it and how to put the sensor on uh, double sided so check that out um, and what do we have inside the box so we have the freestyle libre um, which is quite similar to the freestyle inch so this, this is my normal whoop, just drop that on the floor uh, so this is my normal uh, glucose monitor um, and this here is the new one so there's so let's see they're pretty much a, yeah it is similar pretty much a similar size don't know how well you can see that Um, it comes with a protective cover uh, here, so I'm just going to take that off like so. Put that back in the box. Is it charged up already? Uh, no, it doesn't appear to be charged up. So there's no, no battery power in it at the moment. Oh no, hang on. Here we go guys, it's starting to turn on. And they just asked me to put some settings in, but we'll just look through the rest of the box first, see if there's anything else in here that we need. So just remove this and underneath we have a more of a, a detailed user manual to go through. Uh, let's see. We have the customer services leaflet. We have here um, some more information on the glucose monitor. And then it comes with a uh, battery charger. And it also comes with a the typical Abbott Laboratories yellow USB charger. And is there anything else inside the box? No, that's it. That's nothing. Enough. So it's asking me for the date. Is it the 26th of March today? Yes, it is. Whoop! Just dropped that on the floor. That's not the best thing to do. So I've never really done one of these before. So I'm just going to go next, like that. Next. Uh, is that the current time? Uh, so it's off by a few minutes. So I'm just gonna. So this is touch screen, as you can see. So I'm gonna just put that up to 13. Plus next. Um, let's see. It's asking me for my target uh, range glucose. So I'm gonna say. 
So it comes with like a, a standard um, glucose range, as you can see. So I'm just going to click next on that and just leave it how it is. And it says, um, when you scan your sensor, an arrow will indicate your recent glucose trend. And then it has a, an arrow pointing up saying rising uh, to this um, quickly. Um, to the side, um, change changes slowly and going down means falling quickly. Uh, go next. While using the reader, press the home button to return to the home screen. Done. And then it says no active sensor. So that's pretty much it for this um, so far, guys. I'll just put that back. And then in this box here, we have the freestyle sensor. Uh, so let's open this up. Get the scissors. Um, yeah, because I've been, ever since I started the potato diet or the starch diet, which um, Dr. McDougall recommends, um, I've basically been getting a few more hypos. Not because there's anything bad with the diet, but because um, I'm getting insulin sensitive more so. So let's see, so I've just opened up the box and I've got these here, so I think this is the sensor here. This is to wipe my arm, and this here is some kind of suction device to turn it on. So, so guys, I'm just going to read out some of the instructions. So it says, step one, uh, select site on the back of the upper arm, and it says, avoid scars, moles, stretch marks, lumps, and insulin injection sites. Uh, to prevent skin irritation, rotate sites between applications. Consider your comfort and activities. So then, where am I going to put this glucose um, monitor? So let's see. Lean arms there. No no biceps, as you can see, like vegan gains. Uh, so I'm, uh, let's see. Where am I going to put it on my arm? Um, let's see. A little bit of fat there. So I might... Just trying to think. Might do it around about there. Do here. Um, hmm. Just trying to work out where I want to put it. Really, um, when I'm cycling, clothes get a little bit tight, but it should be okay. It shouldn't cause it to come off. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just shove it about here, guys, on the back where it's most flashy. So then, uh, it says step two: um, clean site and uh, with alcohol wipe. Allow site to dry before proceeding. So this is the alcohol wipe here. So let's just tear this open then and give it a little wipe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my right arm because I'm left handed. Um, so I might find it easy to swipe with my left and then I can play around with it that way when I'm out cycling. So let's just lift this up. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put it around about here. And I'll it smells quite strong. This is the first alcohol I've probably had in years because I don't drink. Um, let's just wipe it right down, make sure there's no bacteria so I don't get any infections. Okay, I think that should be done. And then it says step three, uh, peel um, lid completely off sensor pack. Unscrew cap from sensor applicator so I'm going to peel this off like so there we go uh, and then inside here looks like it's got the sensor I now need to unscrew this cap off here which is the sensor applicator so I need to unscrew this Let's just make sure I get it right here we go so I unscrew this off like so and inside here is the, the actual sensor by the looks of it um, and the next step step four so it says step four line up the dark mark on the sensor applicator so where's the dark mark on the app all right so that's it here so mark up the dark mark on the um, uh, sensor applicator uh, sorry, line up dark mark on sensor applicator, which is this here with dark mark on sensor pack, uh, which is this mark here. So this here needs to line up with this here. So, sorry guys, I'm still I'm still pretty bad at this. So what I need to do is I need to line them up like this. 
So as you can see, they are now lined up. Press down firmly on sensor. So line up dark mark on sensor applicator with dark mark on sensor pack, which I have done. Then it says press down firmly on sensor applicator until it comes to a stop. So I now need to press this as hard as I can into it. So I'm just going to go like that. So I'm not sure. Well, it's firmly come to a stop now, so I think that's okay. So it now says I need to lift sensor applicator out of sensor pack. So I'm going to do that. Hmm. Have I done this right? Oh yeah, it looks like I've done it right. So now, as you, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little needle in the inside, and that is what's going to go into my arm, uh, which is pretty. I'm pretty sure that's going to go into the muscle. Is that right? That there looks like that is going to go into my muscle. Let's see. Let's work out. So if I do it about here, yeah, it should be. Hopefully, it won't go into the muscle because I'm not sure if it's supposed to. Well, I've got it ready anyway. So it says, it says sensor applicator is ready, and then it says caution sensor applicator now contains a needle. Do not touch inside sensor applicator or put it back into sensor pack. And then it says so. For step seven. I now need to lift this up, and it says. Um, Place sensor applicator over sight and push down firmly to apply sensor. So let's see, I've got it about right. So let's see if I have it here. And then it says, caution, do not push down on sensor applicator until placed over prepared site to prevent unintended results or injury. And then it says, gently push sensor applicator. Uh, so yeah, I now need to push it down. So I've got, I've got that in the right place. So I might have it more out here. Uh, so let's see, uh, does that look about right? Yeah, so I'll have it about here. And then I now need to push down. So this is the scary part because it's got this big needle in. So let's do it. Let's see how far it goes in. Right, one, two, three, go. Okay. I can't feel, I can't, didn't really feel anything then. It looked like a bit, a little bit of a big needle. I'm, I'm pretty good with needles, but I would have thought I'd have felt some for more. And then it says, Gently pull sensor applicator away from your body. So let's see if the sensor is going to be on my arm now. Okay, let's pull it away. I oh, know it doesn't look like it's on there. Right, perhaps I need to press down. So uh, there's basically there's like an, a glue or adhesive which basically glues it onto your arm. So perhaps if I just need to press really hard for like a minute or so, and I, when I pull it away, it should be okay. So hopefully I've chosen the right spot because it's cost me about 50 quid a go, so or 75, 80 dollars a pop. So I need to get it right. I should have really gone to the hospital. Really, if you're thinking of getting the Freestyle Libre. Um, in, if you're in England at the moment on the NHS or the Isle of Man on the NHS, you have to pay for it. So, you, um, but I'm sure if you go to your local diabetes clinic or doctor or someone who specialises in diabetes, they'll probably do it for you. They might have a bit um, more knowledge on how to do it, possibly. Um, so let's see. So I've pressed. I've had this pressed down on my arm now for a minute or so. So I'm just going to gently pull this away. That's it. Wow, that's it. Um, so that's it, guys. So I was a bit worried at first because I saw this bit, and I, um, so I didn't think it was on properly. So let's see where the instructions. Um, so that was step nine. So it's on there now. So what I need to do now do is I need to um, start new sensor with read. So I've got my sensor here, uh, my reader here, and this is my sensor. So what I need to do is I need to match this with this. So I need to turn this on like so. Um, so I then need to click touch start new sensor. So on the left hand side, you'll see an option which says start new sensor. So I'm going to click on that. Um, I then need to bring this close to my arm. There we go. And it now says on my screen, 
new sensor starting up. The sensor can be used in 60 minutes and I just need to click OK. Um, let's see. So in about 60 minutes from now then guys, it looks like I can come back and basically use this. So let's bring it a bit closer so you can see. So it looks alright, doesn't it? Um, so it's quite small as you can see. It's like, it's like the size of like a, just a big coin basically. Um, so this lasts for, for 14 days and it has got battery life in, battery of 14 days. So the glue has got it on quite nice and tight. So let's see, I don't want to pull on it, but see as I pull it down, it's pulling the skin down. So, so yeah, I've got it there, it looks okay. Um, just So I'll just do a different angle so you can see there. It's not sticking out loads from my arm, is it? Um, it's not quite chunky. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. So... First impression so far guys, I'd say this looks actually pretty good, this Abbott Laboratories new device. Um, I'm quite impressed, I, one thing I would say is it would be cool if I could pair it with my iPhone, um, just because it would be cool to you know not have to always just use this, like I don't want to have to carry this out with me as well, I think it would be cool that I could just sort of um, you know connect these together using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi whatever's in there um, and basically use my iPhone to do it um, but hopefully Abbott Laboratories they might look at that in the future and I also thought it'd be cool if I ever got a Fitbit watch which I'm thinking of getting so I can look at my heart rate and stuff my activity levels more uh, that, I, that way I could pair them together so I could have my watch here and I could just go like that instead but that's probably something that's in the future from now so guys what I'll probably do is then uh, I'll give it 60 minutes then and I'll come back and we'll look into it. Uh, I'll test it out and what I'm going to do is I'll test it out and make sure it's okay and I will also use my freestyle inch links to see if they actually match each other and see if you know these two here say the same thing. Uh, so first impression so far guys. Um, Overall quite well, the packaging was quite good, there wasn't loads of stuff there that needed to be. Uh, the entire process was really easy in terms of how to actually apply this onto my arm. Um, I didn't struggle, um, I'm quite new to it, but now I've done it once, I'll be able to do it from memory quite okay. Uh, I'm quite impressed with it so far, the instructions are nice and easy, the instructions are quite good. Uh, it feels quite high quality um, like I'm not going to notice this at all it's very small it's very innocuous it's not a problem uh, it isn't going to cause me any problems even with tight fitting cycling clothing that is that is going to be okay um, anything else that I can tell you about so that's basically it for guys that's so I'll come back in about 60 minutes from now and then we'll test it out so back soon so guys, it's been about an hour now, so let's try this out. In fact, well, I'll just leave that there. Let's see if it does it through the fabric. So I'm going to get my meter now. I'm going to just go like that. See if it does it. Not doing anything. All right, perhaps I need to press the button first and then do it. So there we go, so my blood sugar at the moment, I don't know if you can see that, it says 9.3 millimoles, which is a little bit higher than it needs to be. So what did I eat earlier on? I ate sweet potatoes, peppers and pak choy, but I've been sat down all day, I've only done about a thousand steps, so that's why it's a little bit higher than normal. I usually find at the weekend sometimes my blood sugars are a little bit higher, because when you're working more routine, you eat like set times, and um, you're up and about a little bit more, but 9.3 it's not that bad, but that will come down to about 7 soon. Um, so yeah, let's see then. So I've got I've got it here, guys. So but what I can do is, according to this, um, I can actually uh, click this button here. And what I can do is I can go like that. And I can now add a little note to it. So I'm tapping on the screen. So I can put on there, um, I can add, um, I can say that I'm going to have um, rapid acting insulin or long acting insulin um, or food instead. Uh, what other notes does it have? So one thing I'd say straight away is, the guys, the, the screen doesn't seem that responsive compared to the Freestyle Inch Links. I'm kind of pressing it and it's nothing's happening. Like you have to press it quite hard. Uh, and so, and all the next options are exercise and medication. So I'm just gonna click OK. And I think that's basically it, guys. So this has like a eight hour history in it. So say if you don't scan for uh, eight hours and then you 
scan like that what will happen is it will then transmit the full eight hours into this and then what will happen is there'll be like a graph and you can see the blood sugar is going up and down so if I press that button there I'm just gonna go like that check glucose so now it says 8.9 was 9.1 a minute ago so it's starting to go down a little bit um, so let's see so yeah this seems okay so far guys uh, this seems quite basic so far um, I'm not too sure how to log food and insulin on it but um, I'll probably work that out as I go along I haven't set my insulin to carb ratios up I'm not sure if I can do that myself I'll probably have to go to the hospital and ask them to do that for me so what I'll probably do is I'll probably, uh, probably go out and test it out in the field um, and do some more tests on it uh, before I put this video up so uh, yeah, overall it's, it seems pretty good. I'm quite happy with this. So I, I completely forget that I'm wearing it. Um, you know, it's very small. Don't I don't feel a thing. I can't even feel the needle. And the needle looked quite big, but I don't think the needle is actually metallic. Possibly it's it's um, or you know firm. I think it might be quite bendy. But yeah, I don't feel anything. At, um, the start of the video, I think I said you know um, I was worried about it going to the muscle, but that that hasn't happened, or at least I can't feel it anyway. Um, so yeah let's test this out a little bit then over the next uh, day or so so guys it's been about five minutes or ten minutes since I did, um, that last section and I've just tested now my blood sugars are 7.7 .7, like I said I thought they would be and I'm just about to eat so I have here some sweet potatoes I have here about one pound of sweet potatoes so let's put that in on chronometer.com and let's work out how many gra um, grams of carbs that is Uh, let's see so what normally with a, a glucose meter when you test um, the screen doesn't go blank it allows you to put the you know the different sugar in with this however it just went blank so I'm gonna have to test it again right before I put in how many carbs it is so there's 76 grams of carbs here so let's scan that again so blood sugar is 7.6 so they're going down so let's see so I'm gonna add that I'm eating food So I've ticked the box that says rapid acting insulin and let's see I'm going to say that I'm going to have two units so what is that that's like um, hmm yeah I'll only have oh let's see what I'll probably do is because I'm not going to do that much activity today um, I might should I play it safe? Well, here's the thing. Sometimes I, you have to ask yourself, do you... Because one unit of insulin can be the difference between like a ratio of 1 to 38 and 1 to like 25. So what I'll do is, because I'm not going to do that much activity today because it's raining outside, I'm not going to be as insulin sensitive. I'll probably use three units, which is like a ratio of 1 to 25. So I'm going to say that I'm going to use three units. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to tell it... Whoop, I'm going to tick the food. And then I tick the food box and then I can click on the plus sign and then I'm going to tell it how many uh, grams of um, carbohydrates I'm going to eat. And it's very slow, like uh, the, the current one when trying to, you know, dial in how much it is. This one seems like it might be a little bit quicker actually. So like I said, the screen isn't quite the the best you just feel unresponsive sometimes let's see am I gonna add anything else um, okay so I've now logged the food and the insulin and it now has it on the little graph on the screen there for me to see um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna inject some insulin so yeah that's quite easy guys so I don't have to like test anymore well I do test but just that way I'm not gonna have to prick I've been walking around now for about two hours with this on can't feel any difference you know I, I, I completely forget it's there um, so yeah I'm quite happy with it so far uh, so let's see how it goes for the rest of the day so guys it's now 14 days later since the start of the video so I've used my sense for two weeks now and I've got to tell you it's really good so I've still got it on now it's at the battery actually ran out a few hours ago I need to take it out uh, the sense from to replace it 
but I'm extremely impressed with the Freestyle Libre. Uh, definitely gets a thumbs up from me. The center itself is amazing. Uh, it's very small, as you can see. It's very thin. Uh, it's hardly noticeable. I forget it's there. I go to bed at night. Uh, I forget it's there. Uh, I put my clothes on. I forget it's there. Uh, when I've had a bath, I've forgotten about it. It's been under the water for, say, 20, 30 minutes. And it's been fine afterwards. I haven't had any issues with the sensor whatsoever. Uh, the glue is very strong. Um, I think in terms of keeping it on there uh, securely. Um, the only things that I do have criticisms are more around the actual Freestyle Libre meter. So a few criticisms that I have for it are that um, you can't actually um, calculate your insulin dose dosage based upon the blood sugar readings from the sensor. Instead, you actually have to use a test strip and prick yourself. Now then, I don't really understand why Abbott Laboratories have built that feature into the device. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, so essentially, if you're someone who's used to using the meter um, at where you enter your carbohydrates and the meter tells you what insulin you're supposed to use based upon what a doctor or a healthcare professional that you deal with has entered, in, entered into it for you. Um, it won't actually um, do that on the Freestyle Libre unless you use a strip, which kind of defeats the purpose of it, I think. Now then, I actually work all of my inch, insulin out by myself. I didn't, I've never, uh, well I say never, I mean since about November 2014 when I went vegan, uh, I haven't actually relied on my sense uh, or my glucose meter, my, uh, my old one, my freestyle insulin. I never really relied on that to tell me uh, how much insulin to have because the insulin to carbohydrate ratios were off and I never got them changed. So I just did that myself and I could do it off the top of my head a lot of time. But for those of you who might ha say have young children or let's say, um, you know, you, you, you struggle to sort of, you know, balance, you know, um, your blood sugars. Um, you know, calculate everything perfectly, you might struggle with it. Um, so, for example, someone who might, um, you know, not know how much, how long their insulin lasts. So, for me, it's about four hours. Um, in addition to that, you might have someone who doesn't know how uh, much correction and um, how many units of insulin they should have to correct it. Um, they might struggle then with the Freestyle Libre. Uh, only using the sensor because the, the glucose meter doesn't do it for you. It will only do it if you use strips, which is a big downside. Not necessarily for me as such, because I can just use a calculate and work everything out, but I just think it would be good. You know, it, I, I can't, and they could probably do a software update to it for it as well. They don't need them to be recalled. They could just do a simple software update and they could change that feature so that, you know, you could test it. Uh, you know, so you could actually calculate your insulin uh, based upon the sensor. Um, what else? The battery doesn't seem to last as long. Uh, the freestyle insulin, the battery, the built-in battery batteries last, uh, you know, months. Uh, whereas the freestyle Libre, the battery lasts a few days uh, before you have to charge it up. Um, I've also I've noticed that the screen um, with the Freestyle Libre, the screen, let's say if you, you scan your sugars and you don't do anything for say 20, 25 seconds, it, the screen goes blank and then when you turn it on again, um, it then takes you to the screen where you scan your sugars. So you specifically have to go into your diary or your logbook and then edit the last blood sugar reading you had and you have a 15 minute window to do that. Um, part of me would prefer it if the screen stayed on longer for people to add their things in because there have been times when I've gone to add my food in and then perhaps I've gone to look at my insulin and try and work things out and I've come back to the meter but instead it's gone blank and I've had to um, you know, either scan again or go back into the logbook, find the last reading and then edit it. It doesn't really seem that good to me. Um, but other than that, guys, massive, massive thumbs up. I think the Freestyle Libre is very good. Uh, one consideration I would say is, you know, cost. So it's costing me £50 every 14 days. That's expensive. Um, you know, it's a chunk of my salary each month. But, you know, for my long-term health, it's worth it. I mean, do I really need it? Um, I don't think I really need it because i got, you know, good A1Cs uh, without it. But 
I think it's just good. But, you know, the more information you have, the more objective you can be about your blood sugars and what's going on inside your body. Um, you know, you can reduce the amount of lows you have. Um, you know, for example, you could have lows in the night and never know. With this, because it has an eight-hour eight-hour history, when you scan it, you can see if you're going low. Um, there's just loads of things like that, guys. So it's definitely worth it. So uh, pros of the Freestyle Libre are the sensor is small. The sensor is discreet. Um, the sensor is very forgettable. That uh, you are completely unaware of the sensor. Um, I have had no itchiness. I've never had no irritation with the adhesive or the sensor itself. I had no pain from the needle. Um, the data has been accurate on the sensor. The sensor is great. The meter, it, it is good. But for those of you who want to have the meter calculate your insulin for you, especially if you've got someone who's, you know, you've got children who use it, then I would say it isn't the best in that respect. Um, you know, and it's something that I want Abbott Laboratories to address. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a massive step forward. It's extremely impressed with Abbott Laboratories with the work they've done it, done on it. It's very good. It could be better though. So if anyone from Abbott Laboratories happens to be watching this, you know, please take the feedback on board. I might actually send you an email to, um, now I'm thinking about it. Um, try and give you some feedback. Um, one thing I would like though is if the, you know, the sensor, I could somehow, you know, they designed it so the sensor could communicate with, say, an iPhone or a smartphone or allowed the glucose meter to communicate with an iPhone. I just think that would be a cool feature to have uh, and then trying to integrate it with Chronometer, etc. Uh, the Freestyle Libre, it does come with free software um, from Abbott Laboratories so you can actually download your history um, and look at your blood sugars and analyze it. However, I've got an Apple MacBook Pro and I tried to download it for the MacBook and for some reason the URL seems to be broken on the Abbott Laboratories website. So I'm going to email them and see if they can get that fixed so I can download the software and I'll do a review on that. So I hope this video is use uh, useful, guys. Uh, sorry if it's perhaps been a bit disjointed because I've kind of filmed it over 14 weeks. I think I did the first half of the video uh, on the first day or so and then the um, second half has just been uh, today, uh, for, you know, 14 days later. But yeah, I think it's very good. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about it, please let me know. Sorry if this video hasn't been the best. Like I said, I'm not really, I'm still new to YouTube rel relatively. Uh, still learning, um, you know, I'm still making mistakes as I go along, but hopefully those of you watching, you're enjoying it. Uh, let me know what other videos, ideas, um, or you might have for me, what other videos do you want me to do? What other videos about diabetes, veganism, cycling, general topics do you want from me? Let me know, guys. Until next time, guys, God bless all the best to all of you. Remember, go high carb, low fat, low protein, high fiber, whole food, plant based vegan for your health, for those around you, the, you know, the planet, the environment, 17,000 children who die every single day. Um, and that's it, guys. Goodbye now. Do you know how well you can see that? Um, it comes with a protective cover uh, here, so I'm just going to take that off like so. Put that back in the box. Is it charged up already? Uh, no, it doesn't appear to be charged up. So there's no, no battery power in it at the moment. Oh no, hang on. Here we go, guys. It's starting to turn on. And they just asked me to put some settings in, but we'll just look through the rest of the box first, see if there's anything else in here that we need. So just remove this, and underneath we have a more of a, a detailed user manual to go through. Uh, let's see. We have the customer services leaflet. We have here um, some more information on the glucose monitor. I bought this for my own money, I haven't got it on the NHS or anything like that. It's cost me about, this here cost me about 130 pounds, which is about $200. And then after that, it's gonna cost me about 160, uh, well about 100 pounds or about $160 a month. So just opening that up now, guys. So what do I have inside? So I have a invoice delivery note. Um, so I've got that, and in here I have three boxes. So let's get these open. So I've got my Freestyle Libre um, uh, glucose monitor right here. 
and I have my first freestyle sensor and I've got my second sensor as well. So that's everything, there's nothing else inside of the box. So this is it here guys, so this is the box. I'm just gonna open this up now, um, just need some scissors. And then it comes with a uh, battery charger. And it also comes with a the typical Abbott Laboratories yellow USB charger. And is there anything else inside the box? No, that's it, that's nothing. So it's asking me for the date. Is it the 26th of March today? Yes, it is. Whoop, just dropped that on the floor. That's not the best thing to do. So I've never really done one of these before. So I'm just gonna go next, like that. Next. Uh, is that the current time? Uh, so it's off by a few minutes. So I'm just gonna. So this is touch screen, as you can see. So I'm gonna just put that up to 13. Press next. Um, let's see. It's asking me for my target uh, range glucose. Hi guys, Chris here back with another video using a bit of a different lens today if you're wondering why it looks so weird, use my 40mm instead. Uh, it's a little bit of a darker lens though, this is sort of the brightest I can get it. Today's video guys is going to be an unboxing video, so today I'm going to do a video on my Freestyle Libre which came yesterday I believe, or the day before, I'm quite excited to open it up and get used in it, so it's just going to be a bit like a unboxing video and sort of just uh, sort of a first impressions uh, so let's get into it guys let's get this done so straight away it's quite good packaging uh, looks okay um, right so basically I bought this guys because um, I just want to monitor, monitor my blood sugars more but I don't really want to have to like prick all the time and stuff like this whereas so basically the Freestyle Libre what it does is it, it allows you to see your blood sugars in real time all the time without having to prick uh, so I'm at, just to undo that open the box up like so and so straight away I just have a quick start guide uh, that will be quite useful uh, let's see what's inside. Oh, so it folds up, so let's get this open. So has here guide, uh, guys, just a guide, so it just talks about the monitor, how to use it and how to put the sensor on. Uh, Double-sided, so I'll check that out. Um, and what do we have inside the box? So we have the Freestyle Libre. Um, which is quite similar to the Freestyle Inchilic. So this, this is my normal, whoop, just dropped that on the floor. Uh, so this is my normal uh, glucose monitor. Um, and this here is the new one. So there's, so let's see, they're pretty much, a, yeah, in a similar, pretty much a similar size. Uh, 